Hi friends, this is NJ, host on this channel. So we will continue our discussion around the Ashwini Nakshatra. And before we'll start our discussion, just a quick recap of all what we have studied so far. We have already discussed that Nakshatra are very important. They play a vital part in our sidereal system, which is more moon driven. Because you can't rely on your reading. When it comes to doing a personality analysis or making your prediction just on the basis of the transit of the planets or the placement of planets in the zodiac signs. Because behind each zodiac sign there is an energy of three different nakshatras which take you to the core of your reading. And apart from that we have also discussed that these nakshatras also give you this hint that which Vimshotri Dasha an individual will begin his life. Apart from that you know the, uh, the vowels, the alphabet with which a kid is named a child is named at the time of birth. So there are so many signification which has been attached to these nakshatras. In the Ashwini nakshatra, all what we have studied so far is that the DT, the DT attached to the Ashwini nakshatra are the Ashwini Kumars. These are the two celestial horsemen who are being seen as the, you know, the physician to the gods. They have got the power to even bring a dead back to life, to make someone old young again, you know, to heal people. This is what all these Ashwini Kumars are all about. You know, it has been believed that they uh, can even uh, cure any kind of the impotency, sexual diseases, any kind of marital disharmony, problem in the marriages. Along with that, you know, all kind of childbirth related problem can be uh, cured by these Ashwini Kumars, which all has been written in our Vedic doctrines. The other two deities attached to the Ashwini Nakshatras are first being the Lord Ganesha, because Lord Ganesha is also associated with the beginning and the Ashwini Nakshatra is the very first Nakshatra is all about the beginning apart from that the Lord Brahma who is also attached with the creation so Ashwini Kumars, Lord Brahma and the Lord Ganesha are being attached to the Ashwini Nakshatras the symbol attached to the Ashwini uh, Nakshatra is of a horse head along with a horse carriage being pulled by two horse carrying two people and these two horses are being named as the Dashra and the Nisatya in our Vedic doctrines. The functioning of this uh, Ashwini Nakshatra is if someone is under the strong influence of the Ashwini Nakshatra. Let's say for example this Nakshatra is rising on the ascendant, the moon is in the Ashwini Nakshatra or the sun is in the Ashwini Nakshatra. So we can expect the person to be very spontaneous, very uh, impulsive. These people are filled with energy because of the uh, energy of the two planets, Ketu which is ruling this uh, nakshatra along with because this Ashwini nakshatra is placed inside the Aries zodiac sign which is ruled by the planet Mars. So energy, impulse, uh, you know uh, very childlike demeanor, these people look very young, very youthful looks can be seen, you know they are very helpful, they know how to help others, how to counsel others, they have this notion that they want to have their unique identity in this world, they give lot of attention in their own appearance, you know how they look, how their looks are being perceived in the outside world, their negativity and the shadow side of their personality is that these people tend to remain very impulsive, all those tasks which requires patience and perseverance, they lack over there. And apart from that, you know, uh, any point of time uh, when it comes to focusing their energy for a longer terms, they face heat there and they tend to have this attitude that they do not like to be told what to do, what not to do. They have this independent spirit. So all of that can be attached to this Ashwini Nakshatra as the functioning of this Nakshatra. When it comes to the, you know, the personality traits, because see, our ancient sages and seers, they did not look at these nakshatra, these star, only as the physical, you know, the planets. They attach the spiritual meaning to them. According to them, they are not just the physical body, they are the astral bodies who have got a spiritual significance. They have their own personality, they have the gender, they have the all the ruling and the, all the defining traits which any individual could have. So, we will going to have a discussion on all of that only. The caste uh, attached to the Ashwini Nakshatra is of a merchant, caste of a Vaishya. You know, it has been believed that what you need to do in order to excel in business. You need to be quick, you need to have a pioneering approach. So this is what all these Ashwini Nakshatra people holds. 
the gender gender attached to the ashwini nakshatra is of a male gender because of the association of you know planet mars and even sun which exalts over at this nakshatra at this portion of the aries zodiac sign so the gender is male the direction is the south direction when it comes to the body parts so the ashwini nakshatra represents the knees and the top part of your feet because these are the two uh, you know uh, two body parts which you need to have in a strengthened condition for movement for walking for running this is what this nakshatra is all about the when it comes to the humor so this uh, nakshatra as can be attached with the vata the airy constitution which is all about the movement the guna satwa and the gana so there are three gunas predominantly you know the satwa which is all about the you know knowledge spirituality harmony rajas is about the you know action and the uh, tamas is all about the uh, ignorance uh, all kind of you know sloth darkness can be seen bondage can be seen with it so because of the godly qualities of this nakshatra it has been attached the satwa uh, guna when it comes to the tatwa the element this nakshatra has been attached the earth element and the gana this nakshatra has been associated with the godly the deva gana when it comes to the auspicious and the inauspicious activities which we can attach with the ashwini nakshatra or which we can think of undertaking at the time when this nakshatra is very predominant so first of all all those kind of things you know which requires movement can be attached with this uh, you know when you uh, need to undertake any journey Uh, you can take that at the time of the ashwini nakshatra when you want to go for your personality makeover you know you want to go for a you know o- your own health and fitness regime ashwini nakshatra is a very auspicious time when you want to install any temple altar at your place ashwini nakshatra can be given precedence all the learning of astrology occult sciences can be attached with it you know someone you very you know all those cases where you want to begin something like the way a child wants to undertake some course or a you know school going kid or even a new joining at the office so all of that can be attached with the as an auspicious act during the predominance of the ashwini nakshatra when it comes to the inauspicious activities so you know all kind of uh, like marriage is considered as unfavorable sexual acts are considered as unfavorable all kind of task which requires uh, too much of the perseverance and the patience are considered as inauspicious along with that heavy emotional uh, uh, task needs to be avoided at the time of the ashwini nakshatra when it comes to the disposition this nakshatra uh, is a you know is a chara nakshatra which is all about the movement when it comes to the lunar month and the day governed by the ashwini nakshatra so this is the solar calendar this uh, nakshatra can be attached with the time period the ashwin month can be attached with the uh, month of the september and the october when it comes to the day so the first tithi the first day of the waxing phase of the moon in its uh, every monthly cycle so waxing phase of the moon and the first day can be attached to the ashwini nakshatra when it comes to the sexual type because all the 27 nakshatra has been attached with one animal to define that personality traits so the sexual type when it comes to so the ashwini nakshatra has been attached with the horse animal when it comes to the gotra the celestial lineage so like the way i have already explained that the our vedic astrology is very much in sync with the modern astronomy because even the ashwini uh, you know nakshatra comprises of the Uh, you know the i'll just write it here the alpha aries known as the hamal and the beta aries so these are the two stars which has been attached to this so when it comes to and even the pole star has been looked at by our ancient sages as the creator the lord vishnu the you know seven stars in the big uh, dipper are being attached and seen as the saptarishi the seven stars you know the marichi vasisht pulastya atri angiras so all have been attached to these uh, uh, these uh, different nakshatras so when it comes to the gotra the the clan the lineage which each of us you know carries specifically which has been believed in the hinduism so the gotra attached with this nakshatra is the of sage marichi so the, which represents the light like the way angiras represents the you know the power of uh, you know uh, burning power of fire 
the vasisht represents the position of wealth so marichi gotra has been attached to the ashwini nakshatra which is about the light when it comes to the profession and the places being governed by the ashwini nakshatra it's very simple to understand all what you need to do is that you need to first understand the personality specifically of this nakshatra this nakshatra which carries the it's a star of transportation it carries the you know shidra vyapana shakti power to attain objective power to heal power to quickly reach things and specifically this nakshatra is all about the movement all about the you know rejuvenation uh, this nakshatra is all about the all kind of uh, learning so all the profession which entails which requires uh, learning which requires movement so all the transportation road transportation racing track can be attached as a places which ashwini nakshatra uh, govern and the people engaged in those places can be seen as the probable profession as being ruled by the ashwini nakshatra so movement transportation racing cars the uh, engineering uh, technology any kind of research any kind of law enforcement military uh, general all of that can be attached as the probable profession and places governed by this ashwini nakshatra so this is all what i wanted to say as my take on the second part on this ashwini nakshatra in the final last part we will try to understand the uh, personality the you know the signification of this ashwini nakshatra to its depth the four charnas four pada of this ashwini, ashwini nakshatra along with the remedies which can be think of opting if this nakshatra is afflicted so this is all what i wanted to say as my take on the ashwini nakshatra i hope you guys found my this video informational for further more updates and notification on astrology please subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thanks shivoham shivo